right, I have a, uh, a touch panel display here. It's 4.3 inches. It has an ESP32 um, and a bunch of circuits and stuff on the back. So uh, this was sent to me by the, uh, the uh, Elecro company, and um, they're the ones with the Crowbot. And uh, they asked me if I, if I needed any displays, and I said, yes, indeed I do. Um, so I'm going to try to put this in my Omnibot r robot. See if you can see. If, see if this will fit in the front panel. Um, might be a little bit big. Uh, I still haven't quite figured that out yet. But uh, it is a nice, nice display. I think it's 800 by 600, if I remember right. Or maybe this one's smaller than that. Uh, yeah, no, I think this one's smaller. That might be a 640. But anyway, it's a nice big display. Um, this is the. Uh, ESP32 display dash 4.3 inch. The SKU number is DIS06043. And the nice thing about these boards is if you go to the Elecro website, everything's open source. Uh, you can get all the schematics. Uh, you can get the layout. It's, it's in Eagle format, but I've imported it into KiCad. KiCad has a translator. Uh, you can get the source code for the demo program that they have. Um, yeah, everything's everything's completely open source. Um, so as I said before, it's a touchscreen display too, which is which is kind of cool. I haven't actually programmed touch display stuff yet, so that might be interesting. So the way this is set up, it has USB-C. Uh, you can have a battery here. I think it's got a battery charging circuit in it, so you have a battery. Has a uh, uh, an SD card reader uh, speaker. It has a uh, I2S uh, DAC to talk to the speaker. Uh, like I said, it has the ESP32. It has the S3, the S3 uh, W room. Um, it's got some expandability. It's got an I squared C port and a UART port. Um, Reset and boot, all the normal stuff. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's see here. Let me get some USB C going here. Turn it on. It just wakes up with a demo. Oops, upside down. Wakes up with a demo program here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's 480 by 272. Um, and then this is just a little demo program that they allow you to uh, show off its. Uh, its features. You can see how zoomy it is. Uh, so I don't know if this is a sprite that where this thing is a sprite or not. Um, here are some. This looks like real time, real time data. So it's a little bit jerky, but not too bad. Um, and uh, yeah, it's very responsive. Uh, it has click buttons and stuff. So the there we go. Uh, there's a library, um, I forget what's called, LVL or something, library of all of this stuff in it. And you can go to this other site and it's all drag and drop. So you want to put in a display, a, a graph, it's a drag and drop thing. It's all, it's all kind of drag and drop doing this interface. Otherwise you'd be spending a whole lot of time programming all this graphics and stuff, but it's all just a, uh, Easy, easy, easy peasy stuff. Um, all right, so uh, guess really not much else to say. Um, it comes with a, uh, a plastic uh, case, like a Lexan case that goes over this thing. Comes with a charging, charging USB. Comes with a, a stylus. I can, I can use the stylus. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Well, that's pretty good. Works pretty good with the stylus. Uh, that, oh, yeah, that's that's been enabled. What's this thing do? Oh, I can change colors. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Change colors. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Uh, and it comes with one cable. So these uh, things here, these expandability, you can you can put on a cable, and it goes over here to. Uh, you can put these on pins. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I love the uh, open open source nature of it. You can customize it, which is really what I wanted for, right? I want a complete custom thing for my robot. So let's see if it fits. 
All right. So uh, I was hoping to put it in here and maybe put a maybe put an L LED display in here or something. Um, but uh, see, it's almost the right size. Almost the right size. It's going to have to go inside though. And so if I put it inside, it's almost right. Um, I could just 3D print some bezel on this thing. It, it might be nice to actually have it inset in there so it would, having it on the surface then you're always worried about glare and stuff. It might look nice on the surface but it might also look nice uh, sunk in there. I think they also have displays that are smaller. They have a whole range of displays, I think 2.8, 3.5, 4.3, 7. I think they have different sizes and stuff to check their website out. Um, but this would be a nice size for the robot. So I got to still think about it, whether I want to keep this one or maybe get a smaller one. Wouldn't be as impressive though. And it certainly wouldn't, wouldn't really, wouldn't really, well, maybe look at that. I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about it. I got to think about it. Tell me what you think. Uh, if I should keep it on the surface or I should inset it. Uh, I do want to maybe do the touch screen thing. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. So let me show you the uh, schematic here. Um, I took their Eagle schematic and moved it into KiCad, so you can see that here. Um, uh, I've translated these before. Just go into Google Translate and, and, and you can figure out what all this stuff says. Um, and then um, uh, the uh, software is downloadable for all, it comes as one big package with all of the different uh, size displays in it. And it comes with all the source code and everything. So there you go. Um, yeah, pretty nice. I think it was like $29 or something, $27, $29, wasn't much. So I think you get a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff for your money. All right, just a quick look at the uh, plastic bits that they give you here. Uh, this would, this would go in the back, and then there's a spacer, and uh, let's see, go in the back. Oh yeah, this would go in the back too. This is a another spacer, so that keeps all of the things off. And then this would go, this would go on like that. And then the top, you'd have a bezel that went around the display, and it would go like that. So, uh, and it would all be black when you take all of the protective film off. So there you go. Uh, that's my review of the Elecro uh, 4.3 uh, display. And they have, like I said, they have a whole bunch of other displays if you want to go take a look.